instead of uh, people voting for NUP this time in Chisoro, let them vote for NRM although is an independent. Chisoro being uh, a stronghold of NRM. And uh, because NUP was there as a strong candidate, the FDC had a strong candidate. I think it was in the wisdom of many people there that he, <laughs> instead of uh, people voting for NUP this time in Chisoro, let them vote for NRM although is an independent. Well, I might be having my own perception, so everybody has his own perception why the election is went the way they went in Chisoro. So you're asking me that, uh, but the one who won was the candidate, so it is not abnormal for an independent candidate or any candidate to win. But why the NRM lost basically is that uh, there are very many unfulfilled pledges that uh, people thought that NRM had not done much in that district. That's one big issue that is there. Another big issue is that the way the primaries were held. Many people are convinced that uh, they were not free and fair because first of all there were no registers. And uh, since there are no registers, they don't know the numbers of people who voted who was supposed to vote. So when they raised the issues to be solved in a, a within the electoral commission system of NRM, I think because of the timelines, they didn't have time to listen to, to the candidate who complained. Because I am told the candidate who raised those issues wrote to the secretary general, and there was no reply until they went for nomination. So there was no alternative that he, she could stand as an independent. And of course, another underlying factor that Chisoro being a stronghold of NRM, and because NUP was there as a strong candidate, the FDC had a strong candidate, I think it was in the wisdom of many people there that he, <laughs> instead of people voting for NUP this time in Chisoro, let them vote for NRM, although is an independent. Uh, of course, this one has been a very big eye opener to the government. To the government, because when you see that the cost of running a by-election becomes much bigger than a general election. Although this one is a by-election out of the passing on of someone, but should be a lesson for NRM that they should have transparent and peaceful primary elections, such that there is no question of having independence. So the whole country now, the president and the chairman of the party, they should now have that thing of having a good register and good officers who are not biased. Uh, secondly, they should have a qualification of uh, their uh, returning officers and qualifications. I think that's a very important thing. You, you see the party has, uh, you, you, the popularity of the party and other people have uh, special attachment to the president, not, not even to the party. But even those who have a special attachment to the party, they find the party is not doing what it's supposed to do. So there is a, what people expect is not what comes out, especially when they are going for elections. That's another business. Another business is like NRM should have a system where they talk to the people who are intending to contest. You cannot have uh, an election where they have 13 people standing. It means there is no mechanism to talk to the people who are there because not everybody can win. So no, who talks to who? Who talks to those candidates? Nobody. If someone says it is a, a vacant, everybody comes to one contest. So there should be a mechanism in the NRM system of knowing that you want one seat, you can't be there, you qualify, or you are better. They advise people, they cannot advise. It. So they have failed to, to put their cadres in the right place. So they leave them to crash. It's single Bukulun, you are independent, you know, are NRM leaning. Remember, they are not going to uh, mukulonda kwe chibina zeche ndoo zanti singa ensonga zino bali bazikanyi zako ebi abadde otu bya nibaddeo kubanga mulabulu nti ne chama wa NRM na ya wagira independent na hichi no nacho chirungi nti dobozi ya bantu be chisolo ya yogedde kubanga uh, ku nkomero ya byonna abe chisolo balonze member parliament era omuchise wabo kutsubya ntu jakola naye era nga fa abe NRM tumulinze so we're signing a memorandum of understanding in a manifesto of NRM. So we're looking to implement this. So, because we know that we are going to be NRM. We want to be able to move forward. 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 We want to be
tuogere na baba kabano tuogere na bantu bano awo nusubulo kuzeti chini na chafu wamu maso vireme kudamu kuberao mukulonda kutugenda kuolokea jaga lo kuyoza yoza umbaka parliament ya londe dua ngamu chima mbuni nje chifu chuno cha sigala cha boerele uluvanya wa minister hona rebo sa mateko kufa nenga na mwe mwala bien te chifu chuno cha wangu dua wa independent the chisol by election was a very great um, incident to learn from. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate uh, the winner of the elections. That congratulations. And the other thing is that you know the candidate one is still NRM leaning, only that we had a, an official flag bearer. This would also tell tell us that within the NRM people, freedom, freedom of expression. Much as we had a flag bearer, the people of Kisoro had a voice. So their voice was spoken, and whoever they elected is their member of parliament, because at the end of the day, they chose for their representative. But away from that, as the NRM, we ought to learn something. We need to consider reconciliation, because uh, the, 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 the arrosement of an independent was from mistrust within the NRM primaries. So I would think if the secretariat through the reconciliation committee would have handled that beforehand, probably would not have uh, the candidature within the independent. But now that it was not addressed, and that has been our own thing in the NRM primary. So moving forward, we would call upon the secretary to reorganize that when such incidences arise, we can have communication, we can have a talk. You saw that the chairperson of the NRM of the party sided with the independent. That means we had some grumbling within the NRM in Ixol. And I believe that after these elections, the Secretariat, together with the Reconciliation Committee, would address such issues ahead of 2026 elections. Instead of uh, people voting for NUP this time in Ixol, let them vote for NRM or though is an independent. Ixol being uh, a stronghold of NRM. And uh, because NUP was there as a strong candidate, the FDC had a strong candidate. I think it was in the wisdom of many people there that he, <laughs> instead of uh, people voting for NUP this time in Ixoro, let them vote for NRM or though is an independent. Well, I might be having my own perception. So everybody has his own perception why the election is went the way they went in Ixoro. So you're asking me that uh, but the one who won was a candidate, so it is not abnormal for an independent candidate or any candidate to win. But why the NRM lost basically is that uh, there are very many unfulfilled pledges.